Bluetooth adapter. Lows around 10 below. Highs 5 to 10 above. Saturday night, cold. Partly cloudy. 
lows around 10 below. Christmas Day and Sunday night, cold. Mostly cloudy. A 20% chance of snow. Highs in the mid-20s. Lows 5 to 10 above. Monday, cold. Partly sunny. Highs 15 to 20. Monday night and Tuesday, cold. Partly cloudy. Lows around zero. Highs in the it's upper currently 20s. reading the ZFP. At 10 a.m. in Omaha, Zone forecast light snow and fog were reported. The temperature was 11 degrees, the dew point 8, and the relative humidity 88%. The wind was southeast at 12 miles an hour, producing a wind chill of minus 3. The pressure was 30.23 inches and falling. Across eastern Nebraska and southwest Iowa, snow was falling, with a temperature of 11 at Millard, 9 at Blair Airport, and 12 at Plattsmouth. At Red Oak, Iowa, fog was reported, with a temperature of 14. At Nebraska City, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 14. At Lincoln, snow and fog were reported, with a temperature of 13. At Offutt Air Force Base, snow and fog were reported, with a temperature of 12. At Columbus, snow and fog were reported, with a temperature of 9. At Tecama, snow and fog were reported, with a temperature of 8. At Fremont, the weather conditions were not available. Here are some observations from across the region. Snow was falling, with a temperature of 7 at Norfolk, 3 at Sioux Falls, and 6 at Sioux City. At Concordia, Kansas, fog was reported, with a temperature of 23. At North Platte, haze was reported, with a temperature of 15. At Denver, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 37. At Valentine, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 8. At Kansas City, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 27. At Grand Island, snow and fog were reported, with a temperature of 10. At Des Moines, snow and fog were reported, with a temperature of 5. Once again, at 10 a.m. in Omaha it was 11 degrees with the light snow and the fog. The Omaha Metropolitan Area Pollutant Standards Index for today is 50, which represents good air quality, with particulates the main pollutant. The forecast for Thursday is 23, considered good air quality, with ozone the primary pollutant. Air pollution forecasts are provided by the Douglas County Health Department. This hazardous weather outlook is for portions of southwest Iowa, west central Iowa, east central Nebraska, northeast Nebraska, and southeast Nebraska. For today and tonight, a mix of light snow and freezing drizzle is expected to develop this morning. A glaze of ice will be possible, making untreated surfaces slippery. Snow increases this evening. In addition, a strong Arctic surge will bring gusty northwest winds of 35 to 45 miles per hour and bitterly cold temperatures. Blizzard-like conditions are possible along with significant drifting of snow. Travel will become very hazardous tonight. Wind chill values tonight will fall to 35 to 40 below zero. A winter storm warning, a winter weather advisory, and a wind chill warning are in effect for the area. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday by Thursday morning storm total snowfall is expected to range around 1 to 3 inches. Travel will remain very difficult, if not impossible, on Thursday. Wind chill values Wednesday night will fall to 35 to 45 below zero, and very cold temperatures will persist into Friday night with some relief expected by Saturday. The gusty winds are expected to subside by Friday night. A winter storm warning, a winter weather advisory, and a wind chill warning are in effect for the area. Frostbite could occur on any exposed skin within 10 minutes of exposure in conditions as cold as those forecast Wednesday night through Friday night. Spotter information statement, spotter activation will not be needed. This is NOAA All Hazards Radio Station KIH-61 in Omaha, Nebraska. The current time is 10.58 a.m. Central Standard Time. So, yeah, that's the current weather radio situation that we're in. We are. That's what the weather radio is saying right now. 
yeah, a bunch of people are going to get cold weather. Um, I will post on the community tab some of the stuff off of weather.im, the info that I have on there from my location. Um, I'm not going to post, like, the rest of Nebraska, what everyone else in, what all the other weather forecast offices are saying in Nebraska at the moment on the community tab, but I'm just going to be posting, like, what I got um, on Siskin. Uh, and if you're wondering how I get this stuff, um, I get it through weather.im. Um, so if you want to sign up for that, you can go to weather.im and there will be ways you can do that. Um, it is ran off of the... Uh, Iowa Environment Mesonet. Um, it is a very useful tool um, because you basically are getting stuff directly from the Weather Service office. It is sometimes it's slow, but usually it works the bat. It works very good. Um, but I will post those screenshots on community for anyone that, you know, is located within my local area of Nebraska, you know, eastern Nebraska in OAX's territory, otherwise known as National Weather Service Valley. Um, I will post those. Um. Uh, if you want to find out more from your local weather service office, you can go to weather.gov. And um, if you know your weather ser your um, local weather service um, offices, um, like code, like so mine is OAX, for example. Um, I think. I think Hastings is GID, Des Moines, um, their code is DMX, um, and if you go into weather.im, um, those will also be what you join, because, so like, for example, I'm on OAX chat, um, but yeah, uh, I will post those, um, and this video is going, you might notice this video just goes live whenever it finishes uploading instead of going live at 4.30, because I feel like that would be a little bit later than I want this to go up. So, yeah, crazy weather within the next few weeks. Um, stay warm out there, guys. It is going to get very, very cold. Um, if you're wondering what some of the things I was showing, I was showing how my system is kind of set up. Um, attached to my weather radio, I have a Bluetooth adapter, which is that little black box that's sitting on top of it. And then the blue cable is an auxiliary cable that eventually um, goes into a uh, female headphone jack to male RCA adapter and then um, I also have an RCA cable coming off the back going into uh, into my closet with a on the other end a wall plate uh, it has a little adapter from RCA to coax then it has a coax wall plate and I just stuck a paper clip in that um, and that's actually improved the signal a lot with it. Um, but I think it's partially just the RCA cable that is doing the job pretty well. Uh, but, yeah. Um, it, today is 12, December 21st, and the weather is about to get nuts. Uh, stay safe out there. Um... And uh, I will see you in the next video.
Thank you for watching and have a good day.